What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to network your shield to your PC. It can be tedious and time consuming, but I'm going to show you the quick way. Up next. Alright, first we need to go to settings. We go down to storage and reset. Then go down to transfer files over local network. Hit A. That'll activate it. And it will give you a username and a password. You need to write these down. Or the easiest way would be to take a picture of it. Because we need to enter them into your PC. So, let's switch back over to the PC. Alright, first off to get access, open your folder, go down to network, network discovery is turned off, and you can turn it on here. Turn on network discovery and file sharing. And you don't really want to make it public, so let's go with this option. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is type in. Windows features and then click Windows features all right now we're gonna want to look for SMB right there Go ahead and click that and if there is another one below it that says SMB click that also okay all right now we got to restart the computer Okay, if you couldn't, if it didn't pop up and ask you to turn on file sharing to get there, settings, network, network and sharing center, change advanced sharing settings, and you go into here, and you turn on this one and this one and then save changes and that's how you turn on your networking and sharing so now I want you to type in reg edit Yes. Okay, first open H key local machine. Then open system. Then open current control set. Then open services. And then we're looking for Landman Server. Landman Server. And now we're looking for Perimeters. So click Perimeter.
click edit new D word 32 bit value and we're going to name it SMB1 hit enter double click on the SMB1 change this value to 1 hit OK so we're done with the reg edit and we're gonna have to restart again okay now that we're booted back up sometimes at this point it will work so go down to network as you can see mine is not working it would be up here on top and it would say shield look like a monitor so that's not happening for us so now what you need to do is reboot your router. You can unplug your router <clears throat> for five minutes, plug it back in. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, I'm back. Rebooted my router. And now we're going to check and see if it is showing the shield in the network so go down to network and there's the shield so double click and it'll pop up and ask you for a username and a password and that's what we found earlier on the shield that you took a picture of or wrote down so as you can see I can actually go inside of my shield and you can you know push movies from your computer to your shield or APKs or whatever reason that you wanted to access your shield through a network and this is not a one fix fixes all video I mean networking is confusing there's a lot of things that can go wrong but for the majority of you this will fix the problem you have so I hope that helps you guys out if it did like and subscribe and as always have a tech day